Hello and welcome to another edition in our series called English Grammar Practice. Uh, today's tip is particularly interesting for advanced level students and proficient level students as well. We're digging into the infamous inversion. This is part one where we introduce the concept of inversion. Inversion can truly help take your English to the next level and beyond from the moment you start incorporating this into your English. So what is an inversion and why do we need it? Well, everything has a purpose, a function. The purpose of an inversion is to provide emphasis on a specific element while adding sophistication to the structure as a whole. Let's have a look at the forms here. We, uh, we go in and change the question form of the main verb and we change the traditional positions of verb and subject. In English, the affirmative sentence is always subject, verb and object. But we go in and change this in the inversion, which is, of course, why it's called an inversion in the first place. Let's have a look at some examples of inversion where we're using the question form of the main verb. This is a, a, a very frequently used inversion here. Not only was he a good friend, but also a trusted employee. Notice the pair, notice the pattern, not only, but also. This one is interesting too. Never had I seen a worse accident. Quite common use too. Now we're changing the traditional positions of verb and subject. Have a look. Beyond the horizon flew a small object. Could it have been a UFO? In this particular sentence, flew a small object. Normally, of course, we would say a small object flew. So there is the inversion again. Here's another one. Down the street came a Porsche 911. What a car. Again, came a Porsche 911. We, we would normally say the Porsche 911 came or drove down the street. It is quite commonly used after negative adverbials. Uh, never have I seen such a tragedy or, of course, coming from the sentence, I have never seen such a tragedy. And we use it after time expressions such as rarely seldom hardly or no sooner so here's a, another example rarely do we see such generosity in this day and age or no sooner had the train arrived when passengers flooded the wagons all right so let's just sum up for this first a snippet here of what inversions are inversion is used for adding emphasis to a sentence to stress that something is more important than something else we do so by inverting the position of the subject and the verb while frequently adding a negative adverbial. But don't forget also to use intonation. Without a good, dynamic, interesting intonation that accompany the emphasis, well, the inversion doesn't really make any sense. Thanks for coming by. See you soon again.